Hello everyone and welcome to Crochet Nook. I'm Amy and this is my first video on this channel and I want to start with reading a pattern. I have written this out because it's very small but this is a book that I got. It says I taught myself to crochet. It's by Boy which is a hook brand. Um, I actually got this in a kit because I needed uh, stitch marker counter stuff like that but I wanted to start because reading patterns can be intimidating but you really shouldn't be intimidated by them because the terminology once you learn the terminology it's pretty easy to understand so I have been crocheting for a long time I learned by books at first and then the great world of YouTube has shown me a whole lot. I have a few items here that I have made from watching tutorials on YouTube. This is from Macy and Ruth. She does an, an incredible job showing step-by-step um, -step tutorials and then this is another one. These are baby blankets that I've made or Afghans for future grandbabies whenever I have them. So I wanted to start this. I have a craft channel as well, but I really love to crochet. So let's jump in and I'll go through the terminology with you. I have chosen, um, it has sample sampler stitches. I've chosen number three here. Something easy it says it's um, it's pretty easy and it calls for a size three, which I have right here. I have one open, so but it calls for a size three, so that is a light size three. This is Lion Brand Baby Soft, and it says to use a size five hook. Or whatever your yarn, because this is considered a lightweight yarn, whatever your yarn calls for. So, this yarn calls for a 5 millimeter hook, I believe, yes, 5 millimeter, no, 4 millimeter. So, I have this hook, my shirt is hanging, um, it's a Susan's, Susan Bates ergonomic, so it, it's a USG six four millimeter i don't know if you can see that i like these because they're just more comfortable but there are all types of hooks um this is a five millimeter and a boy um i got these two and i don't even know because they're ergonomic because i needed smaller ones for the baby blankets I don't know what brand. I got those from Amazon. But you can use, there's bamboo hooks. When I was needing a particular size at one time, the only um, thing available to me at our Walmart for that size was um, the bamboo. They're okay depending on the type of yarn. Sometimes they'll snag. And then you'll usually want a tape measure. This came in this kit, I believe. And a stitch row counter, which I'm not going to use this. These come in very handy. Um, I'm, I have it set for something that I'm working on now, so I don't want to mess with that. These are stitch markers. Um, I also have some little bitty rings. We won't be using that in this. A tapestry needle. I need to get a um, either stainless steel one. This is a plastic one. Um, but that's just for weaving in your ends. A good pair of little scissors. And like I said, I've written this out larger so I can see it better. But we're going to be making... This one here so 
to start. Like I said, I have some open. We're going to start with a slip knot. Now, if you are more advanced in your crochet, you can use the magic circle or magic ring. But this one actually calls for starting with a slip knot. So I make mine like this. I just go like that. Take this yarn, pull it through. Like that. So I go over. Some people use their hooks to do it. Just make a loop. And pull your yarn up. Slip your hook on. And you could use a different yarn. That noise is my shirt is hitting on my sleeve. So this calls to chain six. And unless it tells you otherwise, you usually want to start with a loose chain. So yarn over, pull the yarn through. That's one. Yarn over, pull it through. Two. Three. Four. Five and six and then we want to come back to the beginning and put a slip stitch now um, slip stitch will sometimes be abbreviated with SLST or it'll say slip ST so we're going to go to the very beginning here and we're going to insert our hook in the top of that, grab the yarn, pull it through that, and then grab it and pull it through that. And now we have a ring. So it next says for round one, we're going to start with a chain of three. So one, two, three. And this counts as our first double crochet. And double crochet will be abbreviated DC. Now it tells us to put 15 double crochet in this circle. So to double crochet, you yarn over, go into the circle, pull your yarn through, You'll have three yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. So it caused to do 15 double crochet in the center of the circle. And I'm kind of going to go over that tail. So yarn over, go into the circle, grab your yarn. Pull it up, you'll have two, you'll have three, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. We'll do it again, yarn over, go through the hole, the circle, grab your yarn, pull it up, you'll have three loops, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. So then we're going to have to make 12 more. So I will do that and then I'll get back with you when we join here at the top.